Michael, we're here at WFL in Austria, Linz. It's their technology meetings 2019. Now, quite interested to know why you're here, but also the background to Viola. Tell me a bit about the company and the history. Okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk with you today. Uh, Viola is a company who are manufacturing laces, from small laces to very big laces. Uh, we are more than 80 years old, a family-owned company now by family Eisler. My father bought the company 1995 in a management buyout and my brother and I joined the company in 2001. So for myself, I am managing directing, uh, director and uh, uh, responsible for sales, service and marketing worldwide. So tell me a little bit about the, the global Viola. Tell me a little bit about where your main areas are in sectors as well as sales. Mm -hmm. You asked me before why we are here. We are here, we have a synergy with WFL and also a long history with WFL. Uh, we joined this fair uh, about uh, 12 years ago. So it's every two years is the fair here at WFL. And the synergy is we are also in the oil and gas branch, uh, mostly in the United States and the United Kingdom, where also our distributor, uh, Kyle, uh, with Simon Pollard, the managing director, is and so we have uh, sold many machines in this oil and gas field now the last years it was a little bit uh, flat so the last three years uh, but Weiler is very known in Europe there is the help, uh, the main market in Germany or German spoken uh, countries there we have we are we are delivering our products in all branches it starts with the apprenticeship where we are the market leader uh, we are delivering to the aerospace, we are delivering universities, we are delivering railway uh, in maintenance, repair shops, job shops, so everywhere. And, and when you see a, a sector like the oil and gas market go a little bit flat, how do you adapt as a, as a global company? How, what do you look for? Where, where do you go for your next level of sales? Uh, to compensate the, the, the flat in the, in the oil and gas branch, we are, I, I, I said we are in all other branches. So our main market is Germany, and there we have our, also our main turnover. And we, we are compensating uh, uh, in, in all branches. So it's, there is uh, everything that the other branches are, were very good the last three years. So it works very good, good for us and we were very successful and hopefully also in the oil gas trend i think it's it's a little bit rising so uh, our focus is uh, on this market more now united states and also united kingdom and we hope that uh, we, we can deliver our bigger machines where we deliver them deliver will deliver the in the service industry for the oil uh, industry because I, I, I would imagine that the lathe market is very competitive uh, and it's all about the quality being a rigid machine. So from your point of view, when you look at a Viola, where do you put Viola as a lathe in the marketplace? Is it to the top of the marketplace, to the middle? Yeah. Uh, our, our, our laces are in the top in the market, but they're in the niches. They're high rigidity, high quality, and also the concept, uh, the control, which was, um, which was developed by ourselves with our customers, so it's very practicable, uh, so it's very easy. So that this concept uh, close to the workpiece you see, so it's a flatbed machine, but in the background there is a CNC from uh, Siemens, so a SL2 control. So I would also think that because you're putting the uh, Viola brand in, into academia, uh, education to a certain extent. You're also looking to brand the machine to the next generation of engineers. Yeah, we are. We are. I said we are at the universities. We are also in the apprenticeship shop everywhere. Uh, and I think it's uh, we are the leader in this in in this uh, branch. Um, years ago, beginning starting with 1938, with the starting of the company, and that was also the the brand uh, Weiler was known for very high quality laces everywhere.